Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of What's on My Desk. Today I have a few interesting pieces to show you. First off, we have the new Royal Oak Turbion from Audemars RPG Open Openworked. We have the white concept GMT from Autumn RPG, the same. And we also have a, something very special, a unique piece from Christophe Claret, the Christophe Claret Blackjack watch. So before I show you the details of this AP watch, there's one thing I wanted to tell you. This particular watch is not any different from any other Royal Oak Turbion, with the exception of different use of materials, as well as the open work skeleton. So you can see it right through the watch, both from the front and the back. And what they did is they made this watch in titanium and they gave it a satin brush finish. You can see that the side of the bezel is shiny and the rest of the watch is sort of that matte gray. Retail price on this watch, $236,320. Not sure where the 320 comes in. I personally felt like 236,000 was enough, but I guess that extra $320 does make a difference. Probably buys you one of the holes in a strap for that amount of money. So why did I decide to show you yet another Royal Oak Turbion chronograph, which I'm sure you've seen many of. Well, this is because this is a boutique exclusive edition. Now, I'm sure you heard the buzz around town about these boutique exclusive pieces, and everybody's kind of hyped up about it. Why? Because you can only get them at the boutique, so they're kind of become impossible to get unless you walk into the boutique and pay full pot, or buy it on the secondary market slightly pre-owned. Those are the only two options that you have. Why boutique only editions? Well, this is the company's way, and this is not just AP, all the major manufacturers are doing this. This is the company's way to drive direct business from the consumer to them, bypassing the middle guys, like authorized dealers or like internet guys. Can you blame them? Absolutely not. What they do is they take some of the hottest products that they have, they make it even hotter. I mean, look at this thing, this is gorgeous. The satin titanium finish, the skeleton dial, this turbion is absolutely amazing. And they drive traffic to their boutiques, and that's it. Not really rocket science, is it? Now, I mentioned this watch retails for 236,000 US. On a secondary market, not gonna be discounted much. You'll be lucky if you pick this up around the $200,000 mark. Is the watch worth it in my eyes? Absolutely. This piece is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Next up is the White Concept GMT Turbion, again from AP. Now, the white concept GMT is near and dear to my heart, as they say. In fact, any concept is near and dear to my heart. Because my very favorite watch from AP is the original concept made out of Alacrite that you see here. So if you look at the watch, the concept, no pun intended, behind every concept watch is the same. It is the selection lever which decides what you're gonna do with the watch. So when you pop the crown out, once it's unscrewed, you pop it once, now you have the watch in the winding position. So R is for winding, this is what allows you to wind the watch. By the way, the difference between this one and the original concept, the original concept also had a dynamic graph that showed you the tension of the spring as you wound the watch. This watch doesn't have it, it would normally go here. Um, pop it again, you are an H, and that would allow you to change the time. You'll notice that the GMT counter is on the right, and as I change the time, that changes as well. If you want a quick, access to change the time or to change the GMT, you just simply depress this button and that will move that wheel over. This watch retails for a little bit over $214,000. And today's market, and I stress today's market, you can pick this watch up at around $165,000. Not much of a discount, but nevertheless a decent discount. And the reason I said today's market is because with this watch, the market is hit or miss. Sometimes you can pick this watch up for $185,000, sometimes even $200,000. Sometimes you can get lucky and pick it up as low as $130,000, $140,000. And the reason for that, this is a very, very large watch. So not everyone can wear it. Now, even though the millimeter size based off the bezel is 46 millimeters, if you look at the watch from here to here, this will take up at least 50 millimeters on your wrist. So if you have a little wrist, this is not a watch for you. So here's what happens. A dealer like myself or an authorized dealer or any other boutique will get this watch in and it will sit waiting for a customer. The longer it sits, the more the dealer is enticed to sell it. So sometimes if a dealer has sat with this for six months to a year, didn't pick up a customer, they wanna go out, they're gonna wanna dump it, they're gonna wanna cash out of it. And therefore you can pick up the watch cheap. 
The other scenario is that you have a customer out there looking for this piece because they didn't make very many of them. So if the market is dry, expect to pay more supply and demand. It doesn't make a difference whether you're shopping for a white concept GMT, a black carbon concept GMT, a titanium GMT. If they're not out there, expect to pay top dollar. But once you actually have the watch, and if there's no client out there currently looking for the watch, the price will slowly drop. Last but not least, I have the Christophe Claret Blackjack watch. That's right, I said Blackjack watch. I'll stay. I suggest you hit, sir. I also like to live dangerously. As you wish, sir. Why is it a Blackjack watch? Well, guess what? You can play Blackjack on this watch. Now I've talked about Christophe Claret in some of my previous videos. This guy is a genius watchmaker. He comes up with this idea and says, you know what, I'm gonna make a blackjack watch. I'm gonna make a poker watch. Everybody says, that's not possible. Well, Christophe's approach, you set big goals, you take little steps to get there, and at the, as the end result, you come up with some of the most complicated pieces in the history of watchmaking. So let me show you this watch. Now before I do, remember, I always said that my reviews are not these nuts and bolts, geeky type of reviews, but some watches are just worth showing the functionality just so you guys can see just how truly amazing this watch is. So, let's play some backjack. Before I start, I'll just quickly show you. There are two buttons on the side. One says player, the other one says dealer. So when you wanna draw the cards for either or, that's the buttons you depress. This is the starting position. Right now I see the dealer has a king. I have an ace and a seven, so I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna let the dealer take a card. His card is a seven. He has to sit, stay on 17, therefore I won. Now to go back to the starting position, you actually have to depress these buttons again in order to get the watch to that starting position where the dealer has one card and you have two. Then you can press the shuffle button. Now you'll notice now the, key, the dealer now has a queen. I have a queen and a king. Or oh, is that two kings? I can't even see. No, that's a jack and a queen. Now I'm obviously gonna stay, I have a 20, so I'll let the dealer take a card. That's an eight. Hey, I win again. I'm gonna try to get it to where we can actually bust so you can see what that looks like. And let me shuffle again. So now I have an 11 and the dealer has a king. I'm obviously gonna hit. And uh, unfortunately, Christoph didn't make this watch that complicated. I mean, not that this is not enough of a complication. You get to play blackjack without like a little dealer sitting inside the watch and actually dealing this card. This is fully mechanical. Come on, Christoph. Really, you can give us a double down function? So in either case, I'm gonna take a hit. I now have 16, I'm gonna hit again. And I just busted, so therefore I lose. Another limitation of the watch is that the player can only get four cards and the dealer can only get three cards. So let's see if this guy would've actually busted if I stayed. No, he would've gotten blackjack. So you get the idea how the blackjack works. This is absolutely amazing. But wait, there's more. If you don't feel like playing blackjack, you can play a game of dice. Notice the little clear window there. There's two tiny, tiny little dice in there. And if I shake the watch, it will actually change around. Now, this is probably the most miniature game of craps that anybody can play. The other window is actually the gong window. Now, it says the word hit inside. But what this is, I don't know if you noticed, but every time I took a card, the watch chime. There is a gong inside this watch, which is sort of the same function as that of an hour striker, that strikes every single time you take a card. So I'm just gonna depress one of the buttons so you guys can see that. See that? But wait, there is more. Now let's say you don't feel like playing craps and you don't feel like playing blackjack. Let's say you wanna play roulette. And voila, you have an entire roulette wheel in the back. And this works off of the rotor that winds the watch. So I'm gonna shake the watch, let the roulette wheel spin, and it will stop at number nine. All right. Last but not least, you'll notice like a little emerald right here. That's actually customizable. You can actually ask that emerald to be set at whatever favorite number is yours. Pretty amazing watch if you ask me. I mean, just to come up with the idea to have a fully mechanical watch, a watch that winds itself as well with a repeater gun that plays blackjack, roulette, dice. It's ridiculous. I do have another version of this watch on my desk as well. I'm just gonna show you this one because it's one of the variations that he makes and it's really all about the dial. The last piece had a black onyx dial. 
this has a see-through dial, and the reason I wanted to show you this other variation so you can see all the different cards that are inside the movement. This is completely random. This is not set at anything, meaning that you're not gonna get the same results every time you play. Check this out. So this has that see-through dial, and I'm saying if you look close enough, you can see all the card wheels on the back. I'm gonna press the shuffle button so you guys, you guys can see them spin. And then every time I take cards, you'll notice those dials. Um, last thing to mention, I guess, is if you look at this dial carefully, you'll notice that, yes, it is a skeleton dial, but there is a tiger on a dial. And Christoph made a few different variations of these dials where, that had different cutouts and different images depicted. One of them was actually the Joker, which was pretty cool. So let's talk numbers. How much does this watch retail for? Well, this watch is not a cheap watch. This watch retails for $300,000. Now, this one is more expensive because of the baguette bezel. Let me show you that. I think I forgot to show you. And there's the baguette bezel. Now, this watch is more expensive because of the baguette bezel. And actually, you're paying about $100,000 for that baguette bezel because the regular version of the Blackjack retails for $200,000. And most every single Blackjack that's out there is a piece unique, which means that every single one of them is gonna be slightly different from the other. So if you buy one of these things, you're gonna be the only one to be the proud owner of the Blackjack watch. Definitely a conversation piece. Definitely a huge feat in watchmaking. Christoph Claret, my hat goes off to you. The first time I met this guy was, um, I think it was in 07 in Basel. He brought me this watch and said, here, take a look at this, tell me what you think. So I'm looking at a rectangular shaped watch that has two glass tubes on the side. Each glass tube has a tiny little metal ball inside with a tourbillon at six o'clock. And I'm like, okay, so I know there's gotta be something behind it because you don't make anything that's not out of this world talk to me. He goes to me, well, the way the watch tells times, I use magnets inside the watch to move the two little balls up and down to show you the hours on the left and the minutes on the right. And it's a tourbillon. This baffled me. I said to him, I said, Christoph, I said, the whole point of a tourbillon and a watch is to adjust the mainspring to the effect that gravity had on the watch as a minute goes by. He goes, yes. I said, you put magnets into your watch. How is that tourbillon working side by side with magnets that are making these balls magically go up and down and show time? And this is where he said, and that was it. Honestly, this guy is, I, I mean, I wish I had this watch to show you. I don't have one. I don't, I've had that watch before. I don't have one now. If I ever do get it, I'm definitely going to put it on camera and show it to you guys. But you can look it up online. This is what it looks like. Google that reference number and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That watch is out of this world. Well, that's about it for today. Last but not least, I'm going to show you what's on my wrist. Today, I'm wearing the Richard Mille RM28 in rose gold, the diver's watch. You can go diving up to 300 meters with this thing. Maybe I'll give that a try. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And stay tuned for more watch reviews and other videos. Till next time.